Because, of course, ladies and gents, if you critique it, you're racist. Of okay? Bro. If you don't like it, you're racist. We, we, everything we've said is not pertaining to the colour of her skin. But mark my words, we're all racist here. Okay? You can say nothing to do with the colour of anyone's skin. But if you don't like it, you're racist. So Ooh. I thought we would uh, just set the stage there. Because, of, of course, everyone's a racist. And this, I saw this, and I was like, one, good God who allowed this to happen, because she looks utterly ridiculous. This is what promotion. What the hell are we looking yeah. at? What are we Mate, looking at? What are Mate, we looking honest, at? It, it is an interview about The Little Mermaid. Mate, on honest, I, honestly, I, I literally, I couldn't believe, I, I thought this had been photoshopped. I thought I was looking at Photoshop. So I she thought, signed like, off on on and Disney. This is a look. And, she signed off on PR. her being done done up like this. Can yeah. I just say for those who may not be watching what this looks like? Take the the actress Haley, whatever her name is, uh, mm. who is playing the Little Mermaid, and then imagine that Greta Thunberg <clears throat> is doing the uh, the uh, the picture, <laughs> and she's trying to make a statement about polluting the ocean and dressing her in pollution. Yeah. Because that is what it looks like. I mean, I mean it's it worse. looks like you just found some plastic that was floating in the sea and uh, made an outfit out of that. Honestly, this actually gets worse. Th this photo is one of the tame ones. It gets oh worse than this. Genuinely. But obviously, like I said, because I wanted to set the stage and you know give, give, give actual criticism on the trailer and set that stage because... No one's mentioned her skin or anything like that. It's not relevant to the conversation. And yet, that's what we've all said is commonplace criticism. And yet, the feedback is, of course, as it always is, well, you're racist then. You're like, does not compute anymore. That means nothing. And this is part of it. Halle Bailey knew that as a black woman, her presence would have extra significance to her role in The Little Mermaid. What she didn't expect was the way in which her and Ariel's journey would run parallel. All right, then. So taken from the new print issue of The Face, get your copy here. No, if this is what you choose to create, no. That is a shit rag publication. Awful, 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 awful. They start talking about the... Um, the sort of casting process and things like that, you know. My dad and my brother ran in, were like, answer your phone. So a quick, you know, answered it. Uh, yeah, it was Disney, Rob Marshall, director. Ariel, he said, presumptively clowning, crowning his new underwater princess. Am I speaking to Ariel? Well, that's quite sweet, to be fair. Cool, fine, whatever. Of course, I burst out crying, she says, rolling her eyes at a propensity for tears. Uh, that appears to have been knocked into overdrive by the film's magnitude. A proud smile pierces the self-deprecation. She's still pinching herself. I did not believe it. I still honestly don't. Uh, you know, auditioned, blah, 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 test screening. I was like, okay, uh, I must not have got it, blah, blah, blah. All this kind of stuff is not really relevant. Look at this! Jesus. Of course, <laughs> rainbow-coloured writing. <laughs> <laughs> part of your <laughs> part of your world Holly Bailey is ready to stand <laughs> it's like a five year old it's really weird <laughs> it's so bad it's really strange it's the worst I don't get it well again <laughs> if you hire Greta Thunberg to do your photo shoot then uh, yeah <laughs> like what who signed off on? Well, we know who signed off on this oh my god just the worst thing ever. <laughs> I can't look at everyone. That, everyone in the chat is like, what the hell is this? I know. Yeah, honestly, that wasn't too impressive. I honestly, I genuinely, I could not believe it. When I saw this, I was like, this, I can't not talk about this today. Anyway, like every generation of little girls across the globe for the last three decades, the 22 year old had grown up with Ariel from the animated 1989 film and that cartoon character, the one printed on lunchboxes, pencil cases, t-shirts, blah, 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 blah. Hattie's phone case didn't look like her. The original area, this, this is what I mean, we're just bringing skin into it. We're like, what's the relevance here? She didn't look like her. The original Ariel, portrayed by 
uh, Jody Benson had the voice of an angel, disproportionately big blue eyes and straight scarlet hair that ebbed and flowed with the ocean. Not to mention leading lady of the era, white skin. Bum, bum, bum. Hallie ticked one out of those four boxes. I'm like, why would they even ask me? She says incredulously. Short answer, her performance with Chloe uh, at the 2019 Grammys. So not acting, it's her performance at a Grammys that egged her the, the win. The weird thing to to ensure that you win something, is it, to be fair? I think, to be fair. Yeah, I should bizarre say so. one. But they say this, what's beautiful about this version of The Little Mermaid is that it's a lot more modern. Guys, modern. Yeah, we love for modern audiences. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking modernization, says Halley. Although the original film featured part of your world, a quietly defiant ballad about bright young women sick of swimming, ready to stand. The overarching message wasn't exactly what you'd call feminist. Get all the buzzwords in there. Yeah. Uh, Ariel literally relinquishes her voice and drastically changes her body for the man of her dreams. When we saw it, when we were younger, she gave up everything for the guy, but I don't think that reflects modern women today. Guys, she's not going to fall in love. That's it. So now, no, of course it, not. So now it's more about finding freedom for, yourself, for herself because of this world that she's obsessed with. Prince Eric, the handsome, shipwrecked uh, human for whom she gives it all up is a cherry on top, but it's not all about him. I don't think it was ever all about him, was it, to be fair? It was all about her finding love. It's her choice to give it all up. Oh, my God. Anyway, are you ready for some more shit photos? Because there's more. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I, again, <laughs> I, I stand by this. Greta Thunberg making a statement. Look at this. What is this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so bad, isn't it? And, uh, is, and this, here, is this for real? This is for real. <laughs> this doesn't oh, look. Dolce & Gabbana, Hot Machina, <laughs> Masha Popova. <laughs> why, the, why the hell would any of these brands want to be associated with oh, this? I'm gonna... I get that like, fashion Mate, has like... I don't believe this is real. It's is real, I promise. I don't believe it. It's, I promise it's real. I, th I think I prefer the hot contour fashion of the 70s. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. You might be right. I promise it's real. Yeah, no, I, be I believe you. I just uh, wish I didn't. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's just the worst thing ever. So bad. Anyway. They bang on about identity and all this kind of nonsense and all this, mm. you know, all this kind of crap. Oh, there's more. <laughs> uh. Yeah, looking like a good homeless activist. Yeah, well, you know, it's got to be tired, isn't it? So anyway, uh, more than 5,000 miles away from a big sister gave Hallie the space for self-discovery. It was unfamiliar, intimidating. The scariest thing I've ever done, she admits, but ultimately... Hallie's grateful for the experience that age 19 coaxed her out from under Chloe's wing and into adulthood. I really got to be alone with myself and say, oh, this is who I am. These are the things I like and these are the things I don't like. And with that big sis watching her back, Hallie also learned to stand up for herself. I'm very protective of my family, but when it came to speaking up for myself, it was weird. Uh, I used to be paralyzed on the set of Mermaid. Uh, I learned how to say, this is what I need without feeling bad about it. I mean, you're the star. I'm sure you Whatever. Oh, sure. I think, think she learned. Very, but what she's saying is, she learned very quickly that yes, I can be mm. a diva. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, oh, wait. More buzzwords. Divine intervention came in, ladies and gents. I felt like God was lining up themes in my life with the character. Ariel has this longing for something more. She doesn't quite know what it is yet, but she has to be brave in order to find it on her own. Uh, being away from everybody. For the first time in her life, I really love those themes of knowing that it's okay to be fearful and pushing through it. Oh, God, it's so bad. I, I, I feel, I feel there's like, like more? oh yeah, no, I, it goes wait, yeah, there's more. There's actually one, <laughs> one where she's show, showing a little little skin. Uh, but it's all. <clears throat> Anyone in the chat? 
is is this <laughs> is this hip? Is this cool? Because oh, you know, I, the, I look I looked at the face here, and they <laughs> I looked at other articles, and they seem very you know like God. They're they're so ahead of us. They're so ultra cool. Oh, do I need to go wear a bin bag? Should right. I go put a bin, bin liner on? So let's take this off. And no, I feel like I'm instead. missing something. I feel That's like cool, I am. I'm not like I am. I'm, <coughs> you know, really old. And yeah, I feel like super fucking old looking at this. I'm like, Jesus, right? Like I'm not understanding. So is it me? No, no. I genuinely think this is just the, shit. you've taken a, a very, very beautiful woman. I think very talented I, you i wouldn't know that from this no yeah Paul, I, I can tell you exactly what this is no you are not old uh, mm. you came from from a time when you weren't being brainwashed what you're seeing right here isn't made for you this is made for kids growing up today who have grown up fully in the chalet timeline and who know nothing but the insanity and who aren't mm. inoculated against it by ever having experienced normality. Of course, mm. you watching this, we watching this, because we experienced normal growing up, we recognize this for the insanity that it is. But this isn't for us. This is for kids. Kids who have grown up in insanity and aren't inoculated with anything normal to defend against it. Yeah. I'm gotcha. not saying that's a good thing, but that is how it is. Gotcha. So they, they start touching on race because, of course, they do. Hollywood first used colorblind casting in 1967 when Eartha Kitt took over as Catwoman from Julie Newmar in the first Batman TV show. But there were no examples of it in mainstream cinema until Morgan Freeman was cast in The Shawshank Redemption as Red, uh, who was Irish in Stephen King's novella. Uh, nearly 30 years later, the practice has picked up considerable momentum over the past decade as conversations about representation into the mainstream and the industry's lack of diversity was increasingly scrutinized. Well, then that's not colorblind car casting, is it, you dickhead? If it's picked up because of conversations, that's not colorblind casting, is it? Like, let's get real here. Come on. What about <laughs> what about black cinema since well, the mate, 60s? Well, doesn't, mate, doesn't exist, according to these plebs. Yeah, that, that, so that don't never worry about happened. it. It doesn't count and it never happened. I mean, the 90s was probably one of the best really decades for black cinema that really took off nah, with, nah, it didn't, with... didn't happen oh okay all right let me didn't not, happen let me, honestly let me write that down yeah. his history history, <laughs> begun, history <laughs> begun with the election of the uh, of the orange man bad in 2015 ah, yeah. and before that there was a brief golden age with uh, with uh, obama and before that again it was slavery and everything was horrible Oh, you, the guy yeah. before the orange man. You mean, you yes. mean the guy that that <laughs> deported more undocumented yeah. people than any other president? Yeah, that one. That ah, was the brief. Let, that was the me, brief golden age. And before the, that, the, 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 the most slavery. And he bombed more people. I, I don't want to. Let me write yeah. this down. Let me write this. Now, down. in theory, a person of any color can play any character. <laughs> not to push an agenda, as critics might argue, but because they're the best actor for the job. You you cast her because she wasn't the best actor. You cast her because she was a singer. For goodness sake. Pally's yeah. version of Ariel is arguably the most prominent example of colorblind casting to date. No. I know I people are like, it's not about it's not about race, but now that I'm her, but it is. People don't understand that right. when you're black, there's this whole other community. It's so important for us to see ourselves. Who's the um who's the leader of this community? And and who's the <laughs> Exactly. I'm... Fuck off, honestly. Ah, uh, here we go. That's why she wasn't surprised when the racist oh. backlash began. First came the hashtag not my Ariel, so racist. In response to the 2019 announcement of her casting and a fresh wave of vitriol when the film's teaser trailer dropped last September. As a black person, you just expect it. It's not really a shock anymore. Uh, I mean, that's awful if you just expect it, but I'd also say that's an element of victimhood as well, quite frankly. Uh, she was never going to pay attention to what social media had to say. Anyway, when Chloe and I first signed to Parkwood B, that's Beyonce to you and me, uh, was always like, hey, uh, I never read my comments. Don't ever read the comments. Honestly, when the teaser came out, I was at D23 Expo uh, and I was so happy I didn't see any of the negativity. That's that's bullshit. All these well, all, all these modern stars, all they, they're always on their phone, especially yeah. the young ones. 
<laughs> yeah. They live they, they live through them. Come on. I just honestly. And then she starts talking about yeah, no yeah, loads of um young girls chimed in. Bearing in mind this will only be um Americans as well. This won't be like it's not gonna be like, you know, an African an, an actual black African girl tweeting out to Hallie uh, Bailey going Oh, thank you so much for being, you know, Black Little Mermaid. That's my representation that I need. This will only be Americans <clears throat> because it's a uniquely Western thing, um, a Western Black thing. Uh, within hours, the teaser trailer dropped. TikTok was flooded with children. Yeah, exactly. Fucking TikTok. Flooded with children reacting to the first glimpse of Hallie as Ariel grinning as they gasped, pointing at the TV and yelled, she's black like me. Uh painful uh you know it just takes the sale out of any kind of like oh there's more right yeah i'm just saying like just let let the work speak for itself it's like, exactly you know let because it, it, because it's such a change like they made such a change like it's just it is what it is let the work speak for itself and you'll 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 it is entertainment, and if you've entertained people, then it's just like, yeah. oh wow, you changed all these pe people's <laughs> minds. You know, they maybe they were a little, little ignorant, maybe they were hesitant, but it's you know, I majority is that it has nothing to do with your race. It's just such a drastic change. Yeah, so which is a fair, which is an absolutely fair uh, criticism to come out with. Just go, oh, so why did you change that then? Yeah. Asking that question, a completely fair question to ask, but like, why did you change it? Like, that's not. It's not, you know, it's not like you changed her from not a redhead to like, a, you know, a brunette. You like you change very, very, as you say, drastic change. So it's a fairly just and pretty timid response to be like, why'd you do that then? So, no, I just thought this is a new thought. Let me ask on. Let me ask you guys. Of all these drastic changes, and my dog's going crazy. Where the if if the if the work wasn't great. Right? Has there been an instance where they don't speak out against the racism? Uh, no, and that's actually the point that I wanted to hit as well. So, uh, so yeah, you are of course right. Um, mm. They hit on the racism because they know that when this opens to the public, this work won't stand on its own. This yeah. work on its own is going to be received every bit as well as the trailer for it. I yeah. mean, whenever we've had this was this kind of stunt casting, and they really try to highlight this particular aspect of it, and it gets slaughtered because everything is horrible. Can you think of one case, even one, where everyone turned around and said, "Whoa, this was pretty decent"? No, no, because there no. hasn't been any. Because the 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 work never ever stands on its own in cases like this. Well, you know, and we got to go way, way back, right? To, to... well, I quite liked. Um, I well, I like that. I like the Batman. I like Catwoman in the Batman. Loads of people didn't, but I quite like that. So, well, yeah, when's sure. the last time it worked? Like when the work spoke for itself, and it was such a drastic change. I think one of the one of the best examples <coughs> is, is Battlestar Galactica when they brought it back. Oh yeah, and then when we talked to Edward yeah, James, yeah. almost, you know, in his prep. He prepped it as a as as a as a Latino guy, but he's like, I didn't want you guys to know that, you know, like that's interesting. But obviously, you saw the the you know the you know the weight that he brought to that role, and then with this you know, mm. and then with Starbuck being changed, I think that's how, like, one of the last times where the, the work, like it it, it 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 was better than the original. Do you guys know what, what? I'm saying? Completely. Yeah, 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 I agree because the original, it had a great concept, fairly spotty execution, whereas in the new one, everything just clicked. They took the concept and they masterfully executed it. Even like the gender bending of Starbuck, it totally, totally worked because of the execution. Now, were there like some people that were against it that never got over it? Yeah, sure, but they were few and far between. Uh, and, uh, and that's because Katie Sackhoff, she was just so good in that. 
and Commander Adama. That is one of mm. the greatest captains slash admirals slash commanders there has ever been. So, mm. so much better than Lorne Michaels, was it? Uh, yeah, the, Lorne uh, Green. Lorne Green. Lord, Lord, I knew it was Lorne something. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and that's not, not a knock on him, but, but still, like, Adama and it was just so much more of a fatherly figure in a sense. Well, you know, and in talking to him, uh, he had said, you know, my thing was that I didn't want to battle uh, a monster. It's like I'd done Blade Runner. I wanted this to, you know, it had to be about the relationships. It had to be about this character. And I mean, that's that's where that's where, what it she should be about. And here. Is, oh. Here, real quick, you have a very talented woman who can sing, and so you know, I, I think she's you know very very pretty. It's like just you know, go, go kick ass on that and let it speak yeah. for itself. Yeah, I mean, you you are, yeah, you're you're completely right. I think um, there are instances right where, so this is the thing, isn't it? So it's a uniquely, the response that they give is a uniquely. Uh, it's a unique response to when things have been changed to go you're racist or you're sexist or you're homophobic all of that right it's all of those things when they're and 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 asking for an example of where that's just worked and and it's just spoke for itself i i genuinely can't think of any but i can think of many instances where there are just female-led films or black-led films that are just great they just are they're just yeah, great. They don't have to you know? they don't have to sure. they don't have to promote it because they're just <coughs> exactly, exactly. They, they don't promote it as that. They just go, here's a good film. Enjoy. They go, just enjoy this good film. And you watch it and you go, ah, it's a good film. 